Hey Cancers, welcome back to Sophia Monet Tarot. It's your girl Sophia Monet. I'm coming back to do your weekly readings. This is for Cancer. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Mars, and Jupiter. Welcome back to the channel, you guys. Thank you for tuning in, Cancers. New love messages, please. New love messages, please, for Cancers. What do they need to hear and know? Divine Spirit, Holy Spirit. What do they need to hear and know? New love messages. We have Gemini's energy coming out with the lovers, okay? We have the world card. And we have the chariot, your energy. You could be dealing with a fellow Cancer for some of you or a Gemini. You may have those uh, energies in your chart as well, okay? But I feel right off the bat, Cancer, is it's like something is very passionate. I don't know. Did you meet somebody new, Cancer? <laughs> something new coming in, okay? Oh, a cycle beginning, maybe something closing out so you can start something brand new, moving on, moving forward. For some of you, you're getting ready to start something very passionate, okay? Like something that you're in love with. Like maybe you're uh, wanting to move or transfer companies or something like that, but you could have a move coming very soon with the world card and the chariot, okay? You may be trying to decide what to do now, okay, with the two of pentacles. Like, hmm, where do I want to go? Or even in love, who do I want to be with, okay? You're trying to make a decision, uh, with the two of pentacles here. So let's get right into it. For cancers, what is this lover's energy for cancers for this week? Divine Spirit, Holy Spirit, lovers. We have the nine of wands, okay? We have the ace of wands. And we have the nine of cups. Now remember always, as always, vice versa, put the characters where they go for your personal situation. Could be you or your person that I'm picking up. So here with the nine of wands, I feel like, oh, it's been a lot of passion here to hold back. Okay. With the nine of wands, ace of wands and the nine of cups. I don't know if you've connected with someone, <laughs> cancers, who you been with, who you been with. Okay. Connecting with someone in a very intimate way is what I feel. And this could be something that someone is thinking about, connecting with you very intimately. But something here is sparking somebody's fire. Ace of Wands. Yeah, Four of Pentacles. Uh-huh. And Four of Wands. Yeah. Someone is holding on to this notion of being with you. Four of Pentacles, Four of Wands. You are what this person desires. Like this, this person is very, very turned on you. Or turned on by you. Well, yeah, turned on you. Yeah. <laughs> they could have put it on you as well. That's what I'm feeling. It's very passionate, this energy that I'm getting off of you or this person or both. Okay? Show me that nine of cups. Show me that, oh, okay, <laughs> that desire. Whoa, cancer. Ace of pentacles, ten of pentacles, ten of cups. That's why I'm like, there's so much passion here. Are you in love? Cancer is in love. Bye, y'all. Bye. Could be with a Scorpio for some of you with the death card. Ooh. Yes. Three of cups with the empress. Someone asking you to date with the page of pentacles. Yeah, two of cups. Three of cups. Okay, Cancer. Who are you dating? Who are you talking to? Who are you connecting with? Because someone could possibly be seeing you as the empress. You're seeing them as the empress. Uh, hermit with the nine of swords and the death card. Okay. Now you can have a, uh, another energy here worried that something is over. Like uh, the hermit energy could be a Virgo. Someone could be worried that something is over. Okay. Or they could be stressing thinking about this ending. Okay. But I feel like you're over here like in love. You're in love with someone or they're in love with you. Woo. What is this world card? Show me the world. Gemini's energy. Gemini's energy is here twice. So like I said, it could be dealing with those signs or you have that in your chart. So the world card with the magician. Okay. All the major arcanas are coming out. Yep. The full energy. A big shift here, Cancers. And the devil energy, Capricorn's major arcana is here. Yeah, someone is manifesting. It's like, let's take this leap of faith together. 
Ooh, lots of passion here. Show me the devil. Ooh, we took out two. Three of cups with the empress. Yeah. Passion, obsession with each other. And like almost like infatuation with each other. Like, whoo. The sex is good. The love is good. The friendship is good. Like, who are you meeting? Who did you meet? Whoa, something flew out. The tower reversed. Wow. Ooh. For some of you, I feel like if you are afraid of something blowing up, you know, in a bad way or something, it's like spirit is confirming. No, this is, this is good love. You're safe to love this person. Whoever this is, they're coming in strong. They're coming in stable. And I feel like a good friendship, like, not like, oh, you're friend zoned. No, I'm saying the two of you like best friends, like, whoo, there's something here that it's like, you don't have to worry. Tower in reverse. Show me that tower in reverse. Why did that fly out? Look, nine of pentacles, ace of cups. Look at that. That's what I'm saying. There's no need to worry. If you were worried, like maybe it's not going to work out or, you know, you know, I've been hurt before, you know, it's not going to happen. Keep your head up, cancers, because somebody is looking at you as the cream of the crop. Nine of pentacles, ace of cups. There's no need to worry, honey. Whoo. Okay. What's this chariot for cancers this week? Whoa, <laughs> a king of wands got the eye on you. Could be a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, or someone in that energy, someone very passionate moving toward you or just feeling very passionate with you in general. Like you could already be with this person for some of you. Okay, show me. I keep pulling a bunch of cards out. My goodness. The four of swords, that two of cups is back out with the page of pentacles. Yeah, I feel like there's healing with this connection. If you've been resting, just like, you know, it'll happen when it happens. You've been taking a break from dating. A lot of you have is what I feel with that four of swords. It's like spirit has someone for you, two of cups with the page of pentacles. And it may come in very subtly. And I feel very organically as well. Okay, how's this person thinking and feeling about cancer? Six of cups. Yeah, past life soulmate energy. With the hanging man could be Pisces for some of you. Yeah. Ooh. You've changed this person's worldview. That's what I just heard. World view. <clears throat> Something about this connection with you has changed this person. Yeah, they could be overthinking this right now with the Ten of Wands. Something is weighing on this person. Yeah, what's weighing on them? Whoa. A decision. Two of Wands. Okay. Okay, so they may fear rejection here with the Four of Cups. So, <clears throat> you know how everyone has a fear of rejection. That's how I feel with this person. Like, overall, this person may fear that it won't work out, you know, but that doesn't mean that they're not hot for you, passionate about you, in love with you, wanting to be with you, okay? How is Cancer feeling about this person or this situation? Queen of Cups, your energy, so... They making you feel good. Yeah, three of pentacles. Whoa. Page of swords with the moon. You spy on this person. <laughs> yeah, you do. You you watch this person heavily. Page of swords with the moon. Yeah, and you have deep feelings for this person. Yeah, the star card could be an Aquarius for some of you. Or you you feel like in your eyes, this person is your wish. This person is what you've wanted. And I see it. I mean, it's here. That's what I've been saying from the very beginning. Yeah, you're ready to date this person or some of you are already dating this person with the three of pentacles. Some of you are ready to meet up with this person. If you've been online with this person, you're ready to actually meet them in person. Okay, I'm getting that strongly. Yeah, the two of you may have been talking in secret. Page of Swords with the Moon talking in secret. You're ready to be with this person. Potential outcome for this week for Cancers. Queen of Wands. We already had the King of Wands come out. The Six of Pentacles. 
and the four of cups. Again, it's a feeling of there's a lot of passion here. Very understated as well. Like maybe this is a hush-hush connection. <laughs> Something a little secret or taboo or forbidden about this connection. But there's a lot of passion here. And there's a need to have a conversation about emotions. I feel like both of you are a bit shy or afraid of rejection with that four of cups. But it's like we're so passionate about each other. Like we're going to take the, <clears throat> the risk anyway is what I'm feeling. Anything else cancers would need to know? Will of Fortune, yeah, something is coming in in the future. Hermit, could be a Virgo for some of you or someone with that in their chart. And then Six of Swords. Yeah, <clears throat> I feel like a lot of you, if there was something going on behind the scenes, someone could be coming toward you finally, okay? Or you could be coming towards someone after you've been in Hermit mode for a while, okay? Maybe some of you were in Hermit mode healing, and now you get to move on from that healing stage and actually enjoy a love life is what I'm getting as well. Yeah, it could be dealing with the Taurus for some of you. Yeah, King of Swords could be an air sign. Look at, look at, look at Emperor, King of Swords, Harfont. You may have three different people coming in in your future that you don't see, you don't know. Okay, Seven of Swords for some of you. Okay, take it as it resonates. It could be an Aries, like I said, air sign or a Taurus for a lot of you. For some of you, this is all three of these uh, people are the same person, okay? Someone stepping up, someone who knows what they want, someone who's very strong-willed. And I feel like someone who's very opinionated and someone who's very spiritual as well coming in. Yeah, some of you have already met this person and some of you have not. That's what I'm getting very strongly, okay? Let's come to the letters deck. <clears throat> what letters are coming through for cancer in this person? This could be a person, place, or thing, okay? The letter U is coming out. I don't know why I just heard Utah. So that may be something similar or similar. Something relating to you or resonating with you. Something with Utah. That could be where you're from or where this person is from. Family may live there. There's something with Utah, okay? Or a trip to Utah. <clears throat> the letter Y is coming through. The letter D is coming through for cancers. What's coming through? The letter T is coming through. Whoa, we pulled two. The letter X is coming through. The letter N, okay? The letter L is coming through. And one more. The letter C is coming through, okay? Whoa. And let's come to this deck over here. Who is this person who Cancer is dealing with? Any more insight you can give us for who this person is? Who is this person for Cancers for this week? Okay, this week could be a fellow Cancer. Did I already say that? I think I did when the chariot came out. Yeah, at the beginning. So for some of you, could be a fellow Cancer or someone with that in their chart. What else flipped out? Jupiter could be a Sagittarius that you're dealing with <clears throat> for Cancers. Neptune could be Pisces or someone in these energies, okay? In the energy of Cancer, Sagittarius or Pisces. Take it as it resonates. At the bottom of the deck, yeah, Pisces coming through strong, okay? <clears throat> so I'm feeling like with... With the Cancerian energy, this is a person who is like home for you. The two of you feel very comfortable with each other, okay? Maybe the two of you will enjoy cooking together, traveling together. The two of you will want to create a family very quickly is what I'm feeling with Cancerian energy. With Jupiter, it's expansion. So this is a person you can grow with, okay? Grow into old age with. Okay, this may be a very long-term relationship, okay? Even if it doesn't go into marriage, because not everyone will get married. I do understand that. Not everyone wants marriage. So this may be a person that you even grow a business with, with Jupiter, okay? And Neptune, this is a fun-loving person. They love to dance. They love to sing. They love music. Could be very artistic. Could be a person who draws or paints or plays an instrument of some sort, okay? Very ethereal, very mysterious when you get the energy of Neptune. It's all about fantasy. 
So this person may love to drink, you know, enjoy drinks. They may enjoy smoking. Okay. They may enjoy, you know, different, you know, recreational, you know, stuff. If you catch my drift, you know, 420 friendly. So <laughs> this person may enjoy that kind of stuff and they don't mind having a good time with you. I'm strongly feeling the energy of Taurus while I'm talking. <clears throat> Even though Neptune rules Pisces, I'm feeling the energy of Taurus very strongly. So some of you Cancers may have that in your chart or this person may be a Taurus or they may have that in their chart as well. Okay, what's the advice for Cancers this week? In this situation, what is the advice for cancers this week? We have perfect timing. Yeah, divine timing, okay? The divine is stepping in on your behalf with something here, okay? It says be assertive, yeah. In perfect timing, it will be the right time to be assertive, to talk to this person. I feel about the future together. That's what I'm feeling, okay? And look what came out. <clears throat> Spirit does not lie. Trust and no need to worry. Didn't I say that, you guys, with the tower reversed? Where was that at? And I clarified it too. Tower was in reverse. And I clarified it with the Nine of Pentacles, Ace of Cups. So that's what I'm saying. For a lot of you, this is going to be a brand new love opportunity for you to fall in love, you guys. And like I said, some of you have met this person already and some of you will meet this person soon. Okay, the tower is in reverse. It could be in Scorpio season coming up. Okay, right now we're in Libra season. So Scorpio season is the next season. So I feel like what you thought may not, you know, may not was, or what am I trying to say? Let me say it the right way. What you thought could possibly not happen is going to happen. <laughs> I'm like, let me slow down. It's not coming out right. But yeah, cancers, there's no need to worry. Trust what spirit is doing. Something happen happening here in perfect timing, in divine timing. Someone will be assertive. It could be you, your person, or both of you will be assertive. So there's no need to worry here, okay? And some of you... You've gone through recovery. You've been through a rough time. A lot of you have healed and now you're able to receive love into your life. Okay. Alrighty, Cancers. Thank you for watching. Take care. Bye.